Welcome to Mona Impact. This is a special video that is not directly related to SS7 attacks. However, the same jacker attack evolved as a direct replacement for the abilities that were lost to mobile network attackers when operators started to secure their SS7 and diameter infrastructure. So let's start. The agenda for today and before starting, we have to understand some concept and definition as below. First, we need to understand what is SDK, what is S and T browser, and what is the same jacker attack, how do same jacker attacks work, and finally, how do MNOs protect uh, themselves against same jacker. First, let's start by what is SDK. As we know, the most SIM card released since the early of 20, uh, 2000, including eSIM feature, a carrier menu. This menu includes tasks such as balance uh, checks, uh, recharge, technical support, and extra. Old phone had it right on the main uh, menu. This menu is essentially an app, or more precisely, several apps, whose general name is called same application toolkit. So same application toolkit is all the technology that's the day back to the pre-smartphone, something like this uh, picture, but these programs do, uh, do not run on the phone, but on the same card. Remember that your same card is a tiny computer with its own operating system and the program. So SDK respond to external commands such as buttons pressed on the carrier menu and make the phone perform certain actions such as send SMS or USSD command, for example. So simply put, SDK is a set of applications that run on the same card and interact with the mobile device. So this application uh, or display text on the screen, uh, device initiate SMS, USSD calls, uh, packet session, access a camera, speaker, engage in a dialogue with users, are you, yes and no, uh, get information from outside via SMS, sell broadcast, save information on the SIM card, and also provide additional menu to be displayed on the phone. So here, from a technical standpoint, these SMS messages are defined by special parameters. If we are focused on the SMS, for example, a message contains not text, but rather a command to perform one of the action from this list. Okay. So, for example, here, if we are talking about SMS messages, where it's choosing to make the STK menu interactive. From a technical point of view, as we discussed, SMS doesn't contain certain text, but rather a command to perform the action, okay? So here, uh, uh, one of the application included in STK or the uh, same toolkit is S&T browser. So let's understand what is S&T browser. It's an application. One of the application on SIM card, it's enabled the SIM based browsing and the interact. So we can say, this application on some SIM card enables same based browsing, interaction with network interfaces, and it's a part of the same toolkit. <clears throat> and it was designed to allow the mobile operators to provide service like balance checks, uh, mobile banking, and extra like uh, internet access, and so on. So each application on the same card, such as SNT, has a minimum security level. Okay, and now we will go into the main topic for today for the uh, uh, same jacker and the, how this attack happened. We have four categories of the messages are included in S and the eight browser specification. First one is pull, administration, high priority push, and the low priority push. So this is a four category of messages included in this application, S and A application. The zero trust level is widely used for high priority push and low priority push. Also a number of operator implementation of SNT browser, high priority push and low priority push use non-security parameter setting for this message. Here that means 
any attacker can send a push message to the target device without needing to apply any authentication. And the s &T browser will accept this message. So that means <coughs> high priority push and the low priority push are the type of the message that are used in the same jacker attack. So let's start second, what is same jacker? Now let's wrap up again. Each SIM card has something is called same toolkit and this same application toolkit have a different application. One of them is called s &T browser using for different purpose like balance check, mobile banking. And there are a certain of sec minimum security level but for some of the messages like high priority push and the low priority push, there is a zero security level. For that reason, the attacker can use or send any push message without any feedback or without any check from s and browser specification and we, they can attack in this case. So here, what is the same jacker? In 2019, as you can see in the right hand side, the company is called Adaptive Mobile Security, uncovered a new and previously under uh, undetected vulnerability and associated exploits called SimJacker and published a report to detail the attack. As you can see, is a security vulnerability that allows a attacker exploit a SIM card to track user device in this mess, make a voice, or even make action without any knowledge from the user so for main take of uh, main attack observe it here you can see we can request the location and imi this is the two uh, confidential information through same jacker can obtain so once this information is retrieved it can be sent to recipient number by another sms by triggering logic on the handset but let's see understand how same jacker works now you can see on the left hand side attacker device on the uh, the victim device and another attacker device on the right hand side <clears throat> the attack begins here when sms that we term the same sugar uh, uh, same uh, jacker attack message is sent to the target handset and this same jacker attack sent from another handset, a GSM modem or uh, an SMS sending account connected to an A2P account contain a series of same toolkit or, or SDK as we discussed before in instruction and is specifically crafted to be passed on the same card within the device. Okay, so it will be going to this device. But why? This instruction to work, the attacker exploits the presence of s &T browser. So this SIM card should have s &T browser that is on the uh, SIM card. Once the SIM card receives the same jacker attack message, it uses the s &T browser library as extension environment on the SIM card, where it can trigger logic on the handset. From the main attack observes the same jacker could running on the SIM card request location and specific device information like cell ID, like IMI from the handset. Once this information is retrieved, the SIM jacker could running on the SIM card sends the combined information to a recipient number via another SMS we call this a data message. Data message will contain cell ID for location by triggering a logic in the handset. So this data message is a method by which the location and IMI information can be X uh, filtered to a remote phone controlled by the attacker. So here, <clears throat> uh, uh, here you can see the logic in another way. This is the attacker device will send the attack message to the device. The device will give the SMS content to the SIM card and the SIM card will get information about the device location and again cell ID and sell back to the device. The device will use this to send in return as a data message contains a cell ID to a compliance device. So this is the process for Zim Shaker. And what, where is here the weakness? The weakness is the S and the M uh, browser with uh, zero trust security level in the SIM card. So by Zim Shaker, the attacker can do many, many attacks. First, 
tracking the location of the individual around the world to perform cell interception, uh, denial of service, and the fraud without any indication on the victims of files that is being tracked by knowing its cell ID. Second, Second one is call fraud by sending an attack message to instruct the victim of a phone to, for example, initiate a call. And the message will be displayed to convince this victim to click OK. They are using social engineering for that. This type of attack can be used to perform a fraud against the person who received it, and they could be tricked into ringing an, an expensive number. Third is Browse uh, explicit is another use of vulnerability by sending attack messages and instructing the victim phone to open different websites which may have a malware on it. Then social engineering can convince the person on that website to download malware and so on to attack his mobile phone. So there are different capability and here you can see uh, there are a list of affected countries as per the report, 29 affected countries in different five continents where the customer of total 61 mobile operator are actively using SIM card with S and T browser toolkit. Uh, for North America, Mexico, one of the most affected countries, South America, also Peru and Colombia and Brazil, Africa, Nigeria, Europe, Italy, Asia, they are talking about uh, Iraq and Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, also Palestine. So this is the as bears the report. So here we can say the same jacker started when researchers detected unusual and suspicious SMS event in the last quarter of 2018. When actively monitored, they record nearly 25,000 same jacker messages attempted to be sent to 1,500 unique mobile devices in just one month or 30 days. Now the question is, <clears throat> there are three group of equipment that MNO should configure properly. First, to protect for, uh, first the SMS center. The, MS, the SMS centers that handle outgoing SMS traffic from MNO subscriber. The sub subscriber can exchange SMS messages, regular tickets with each other and with application server. Messages with STK coding from home subscribers should go only to the MNO platform, not other subscribers. This is the first one. Second, SMS center to which partner content provider are connected by SMMB, for example, and SS7, content providers generally send tickets in the form of A2P SMS messages. This traffic shouldn't contain message with STK coding. Third, SMS home routing, and they are using commonly uh, in the SS7 domain, hosts for incoming SMS traffic to home subscriber from external connection. There can be no doubts here. If an external host send SMS traffic with STK coding to home subscriber, this is clearly an illegitimate activity that must be stopped. Finally, you can book SMS that contain, uh, have content coding characteristic of the STK message. So this is the main four uh, uh, or three groups that MNO should configure properly and also blocking feature for SMS that contain any characteristic for STK messages. So here I need to uh, say thank you uh, for watching this video. And uh, see you in the next video, inshallah. Salam alaikum.